Americans spend over $1.2 billion a year on these supplements in hopes of protecting their heart, boosting their brain, and achieving more youthful skin. What am I talking about? Omega-3 supplements, specifically fish oil. And we know our bodies need omega-3s, but are these supplements worth the money? Who should be taking them? Third most widely used dietary supplement. But what is really interesting, because again, we always talk about how heart healthy eating fish can be. A review of 20 studies found no compelling evidence linking fish oil supplements to a lower risk of heart attack, stroke, or early death. The American Heart Association said no evidence the supplements work for healthy people to prevent cardiovascular events. They do mention a potential benefit for those recovering from a heart attack. I think the takeaway really is this is something you should discuss, particularly if you have heart, heart trouble or concerns of heart trouble or cardiovascular disease. Talk with your healthcare provider about it because it also, look, when you look at these studies, it also depends on the particular supplement you're taking yeah. because they're unregulated. <laughs> but it is, it's been, the studies have been fairly disappointing, yeah. quite frankly. If your diet is the right diet, you should be getting these things the best way, the natural way, and that's through your food. And the exceptions would be somebody maybe who doesn't have access to all those foods or doesn't like certain foods or has a problem absorbing, absorbing foods. From an obstetrical standpoint, there can be benefits for the baby's brain development, like during pregnancy and, and after delivery. So from pregnant omega, mom, is that, from omega-3 supplements. Is that part of prenatals? Sometimes, so you have to check. And so sometimes your doctor may recommend an additional supplement or pregnant women can eat a couple of servings of low mercury containing fish per week, like eight to 12 ounces.